Hello, everyone. Chris Reynolds again here at Gospel Missions and <clears throat> Abode for Children. And, you know, as we walk through Lent, we're placed in front of us many different uh, obstacles, uh, to say the least. And what do we do with those obstacles? Do we despair? Do we give up? Do we, or do we stand and fight? Or actually, why don't we just turn to our Lord and say, Lord, I need help with this. I need help with this. You know, there's a lot of despair out there, especially in our country, in our world, in our church. You know, you got the German bishops in schism because they they voted for all kinds of things in this synod. You know, you got our, our country, we got banks failing. Everybody's concerned. They're all worried. Be not afraid. Fear not. God's got this. Do we trust him? Is it going to be easy? Oh, probably not. You know, it's not. But know in the end that good will come out of all this bad. We don't know what it's going to be. We don't know what good can come out of it. But we know good will come out. God uses bad for good. So what do we do with it? Let's turn to him in prayer. Tomorrow night, we're going to be praying the glorious mysteries. And if you haven't joined us, I'd say join us, or at least listen, you know, go on and sign up so you get the video on of the reflection on Sunday. Uh, Father Sizik from the Diocese of Pittsburgh recorded a reflection last night on the glorious mysteries and connecting them to the sorrowful in a way that I'd never heard done before. But it was kind of cool. Uh, made me think. You know, without the cross, we don't have the resurrection. Um, so we can't forget the sacrifice that our Lord made for us. But join us at 9 p.m. Um, you can go on to gospa.org and sign up, and you'll get the email giving you the information to get on, and then you'll also receive the weekly reflections. We send those out. If you can't join us at 9 o'clock, I know it's late for a lot of folks on the East Coast, um, and it's hard, no doubt about it. But our Lord carried that cross, and as we go through Lent, we're carrying little crosses. Some of us are carrying big crosses, but what do we do with those crosses? Mark your calendars for August 19th. That's going to be our summer retreat. Um, we have Dr. Ray Gurundi is going to be joining us. Bishop Walter Scheid, um, Auxiliary Bishop of the Diocese of Pittsburgh, will be joining us. Canon Tallarico with the Institute of Christ the King, and yours truly. Um, I'm humbled, but as we walk through this valley of darkness, know that we're going to see the light, and the light is Jesus Christ. Don't forget, Jesus loves you, and if you have any prayer requests for us for tomorrow night and every day, we pray those uh, intentions every day at the mission, send them to powerhour at gospa.org, powerhour at gospa.org. God bless you all. Have a great day, and don't forget, Jesus loves you.